Hello everyone and welcome to the official Electron Retrax YouTube channel. I'm Martin Pickering and today we're going to be talking about the differences between regular and single channel operation with regards to Electron Retrax controllers. So let's get straight into it. When referring to regular or single channel operation in the Electron Retrax manual or video manuals here on the channel, what we're referring to is how the information is sent from the receiver to the controller for the Retrax and for the brakes. The reason being is that we can set our controller to function either using a single channel in which both the information for the Retrax and for the brakes are sent through one same channel or in the more traditional manner in which each channel has its own set of wires and therefore each wire carries one channel to the controller. So let's see exactly how each one of those two work. Let's start with the traditional method in which we use one channel for the gear and one channel for the brakes. In that method the radio setup is very simple because you have one channel which controls the gear, so gear up, gear down, and then you have one channel which controls how much braking you want applied at that point in time, be that using your elevator stick, a slider, or however it is that you prefer to activate your brakes. In this method, we simply connect to each one of the controllers, whichever one it is that we're using, the input for the gear, and the input for the brakes. And then we set up the controller accordingly as per its manual or video manual here on the channel. So what if you're running short on channels? Well, this is where single channel operation comes in because it basically allows you to save one of those two channels. The setup on the radio is slightly more complicated. However, once you get a grasp, you'll see it's very easy as well. It works in the same way as turbines do, in which the throttle controls how much power you have for the turbine and the trim controls whether the turbine is on or off. Think of it in the same way for the brakes and the gear. The brakes are controlled proportionally, whilst gear up or gear down is controlled by what in turbines would be the throttle trim. Now, how you have to do that in your particular radio does vary brand to brand. Sometimes it's easy to make a dual rate, other times mixes or flight conditions. However, the idea, as you can see, is quite simple. You have one switch control an initial part and then a separate switch, i.e. the brakes, controlling another side. And there we are. That's the difference between a regular and single channel operation. Hopefully it's clear after this video. However, just in case, to make sure, please don't confuse it with what we refer to as bus systems, in which we send multiple channels through a single wire. That's not what we're doing here. Single channel operation is only sending one channel through that wire. However, it is controlling two channels through the controller. This works on all of the Electron Retrax controllers, both the RB45, RS200, and the GS200. Yes, the GS200 can also be controlled by bus, but that you can check out in the separate video. We hope that you found this helpful and useful. For more information on how to actually set up your particular controller, either in regular or single channel operation, please check out the manual or video for that particular controller. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please feel free to contact us or leave them below and we'll get straight back to you. 